this is a very fancy laboratory. It says something on the ground. Oh, didn't want to go through. Wanted to look at it. What's that first lever, uh, letter kind of covered up by the power cord? Something EV twelve dot nine. Is this a geode? Oh, cool. Why is it smoking? Now you shall see what this whole adventure has been in pursuit of. Have you ever experienced a moment so tantalizing? This is our prize, yours and mine. Your resistance to the Null is remarkable. None but me could craft this key, and none but you could turn it. I'm sure of that now. Everything is in readiness. The last few calculations will pose you little difficulty, and once you open the gateway, I will join you. Let us stride through it together and become the greatest explorers in a dozen generations. is this? Gone. G-O-N. This is beautiful. Huh. Oh, these all rotate. Oh, man. disk. I think something's supposed to go into the center. Not this. This goes on the plate thing I think we just saw. them both. Ah. Draco the dragon. 
So I suppose I need to make red the ones that are red here. So kind of like one at the head, one at the first bend, and then two around the tail. One about the head, one about the bend, two at the tail? Sixty-nine. Nice. Look at that smug little face in there. Looks like holes have been burned into it. I think that's a guide. I'm supposed to put it over something and it'll probably show me what I need. Telescope lens. I think the paper probably goes over this. Hmm. Well, these are lines on each side, right? So, oh, and there's different shapes that aren't in the same order, like circles on the bottom on the left, but it's on the top on the right. So you're probably supposed to follow where the lines match up and follow it and see if it leads to the correct shape on the other side. Like this one has a circle going to a triangle. Ah, this is the one. It's really, really small, so you might not be able to see it, but triangle goes this way, down to the right, triangle, circle goes here. Okay, so this is indicating a shape. It's indicating these two symbols, one with a star next to it and one with a moon next to it. So the star, we got things, the moon next to it, we got the U's, but I'm not sure where to input that. We have a lens. I guess I should probably mess around with this. Second so tele telescope. Yes. Ooh, this looks cool. Oh, the current one's broken. Okay, so let's get these correct first. So this is the star. The star is the... Oh, that's so cool. Oh, and it moves too. Oh, that is very satisfying. I think it's those things? And then the moon is the two sideways U's. Wait, a metal plate? Where does this go? Oh, it goes on this thing. What the heck? Symbols that only appear for a second. Stars associated with the circle with a line going through it. Star, circle with a line going through it. Moon, triangle, wavy thing. Star, circle with a line going through it. 
that thing. Moon. This thing. Gears around it. I think that's for one of the doors. Yeah, this one's operated with a lever, but this, I think, is the one. Yes. Something's supposed to go here. Let's just look up at the stars. Well, it looks so strange the way it chromatic aberration in the color separation and whatnot. Observatory. Dome 1788. Oh. So what's that supposed to look like? Am I trying to recreate like the shape of the observatory in that? Oh, that's satisfying. Yes, yeah, so I think it's just like a little puzzle for every part of the observatory. Oh, I guess I was just finding the pieces that all connect together. So that didn't really do anything other than just solve it? Like it didn't give me anything? So what now? Like what about this? Oh, right, they need to match the centerpiece, too. I see. So we got this big band going through here. That matches up with that. back out of that. Um, yeah, so there's that thing now. Maybe that was there before, I'm not sure. Ooh, full moon. Hey, this square piece doesn't go here, does it? It doesn't look like it fit. Okay, so... This is matching the thing directly in front of us, right? This thing in the background? So it's like this? Yeah. And 
Now that, maybe, goes here. <laughs> okay, it doesn't. Oh, wait a minute, this thing has power now, doesn't it? Aha! Uh -huh. Stuff probably goes in here, then. Looks like we're missing two green gem things to go in the top and bottom. Tiny sundial. within a maze? Question mark. Does that match, like, this door or something? Ah, oh, took me a while, but this is where I put the sundial. Right, completing a miniature version of what's in front of us. That makes sense. Oh, and it moves the actual one. Haha. <laughs> Not only it looks cool, but it also locks it in place. Okay, now that that's done, then I think we can start putting some of these other objects that I've accrued here. Maybe? This must be where they go. Oh my god. Freaking gorgeous. So many little things to press. Uh, where do some of these things perhaps go? Okay. And then this goes around a square part. I don't... Oh. Oh, can I put it on any of these? The gear fits securely, but I can still remove it. Yeah, okay. So let's just start messing with buttons. So that moves that gear between three positions. That one also has three positions. So as far as what I can control, I can control two gears and their three positions. And I can rotate, and I can put this on any of the square pegs, of which there are three. One here, one here, and one here. What's my goal? Like, what am I trying... Where am I trying to get rotational energy to. Well, that's never going to work. So this one, this one, like this gear down here cranks when I crank, but this one up here does not. So it all starts from here. So those go and then, well, that doesn't even, it's not even close to reaching. I must be missing something. Is there something here that I'm not seeing? doesn't even reach. Those do reach, but then it goes nowhere. Yeah, I feel like I'm missing another gear that goes onto the triangle pieces.
Oh, I can take that out too? Well, that changes things. Yeah, that changes things quite a bit. I don't think that's helpful. <laughs> oh, wait. Oh. What's that going to do when it goes to the other side? Now I have the triangle piece. So that's my goal. Yeah, to get rotational energy here so I can move this all the way to the side and then same for this one all the way up. Gotcha. That's for. So pretty. An orb with a socket. Oh, that is gorgeous. And what does that go into? I don't know, but let's go back to this for now. Oh, no. All right, that doesn't touch. That one doesn't touch either. I think that middle position is just a non-starter, isn't it? Well, I think this one's also going nowhere. I can't reach that with anything. Maybe I do need to use these items, figure out where they go, and then come back to this. Maybe it'll give me more gears or something. Oh, the brass handle fits into this thing. Ah, okay. So that's how we're going to solve this. How many positions does it have? Four. That's never going to work. Eh. Uh, I don't think that's going to reach anything. No, that... <laughs> Dang it. <laughs> that's not going to work, so that's definitely not the position. I don't think that would turn into anything. Nah. This looks promising. Oh, very promising. how many layers there are to this thing. So cool. Oh, there's the final key. So I have to solve each globe and also set this thing. Can I mess with each globe? Some appear to be m missing? Or just really small? Suppose these are all to scale. K. 
can't seem to mess with that. This, this here looks just like the texture of this, doesn't it? Well, let's get this set right. Let's do it from this position. Better light. Is this even close to correct? I'm terrible at geography, by the way, in case you haven't noticed. I'm not thinking like, oh yeah, this is this is North America. This is Russia. I'm I'm just trying to match up shapes. <laughs> I think that's right. Yeah, I think so. Whoops. Well, this probably goes here. Oh, that's so pretty. Whoa. So I guess once they're good to go, you can press the button on the top and they do their thing. That one? Yeah, it's stuck there now. Hmm. Is this one good now? No. Cool. Okay, that one's good. So, I th think that this plugs into here. There we go. So we have three symbols. This is the symbol associated with star. This is the symbol associated with moon. And this, I don't know what the significance of that is. Oh, it's related to this. This lens cover is going to give us a third symbol that we have to set. Okay, so money symbol. Uh, star is money symbol. Moon is streets. Moon is streets. And this is that one.
We have power. Hmm. I think the maze is through that door. This thing broke? And this is shattered? When that th the miniature, when that thing fell and pierced the ground, it looked just like this? This area and this thing? So I think it actually happened for real when that happened in the miniature. Ah, oh, this goes in here. Ah, oh, it wasn't missing the green things like I thought. They don't seem to have any special interactions with each other. I think it's just a matter of getting them to match what's on the ground. So, for example, we have the blue on the top left. So I have to get it there somehow. <laughs> which means I gotta let them through, which means I probably gotta do something like this. Green on the top right. Um, this needs to get out of here. I guess I can just rotate them all like this. Till the right one's in the slot. Red down here. Yellow in the center. Pink down here. Uh, these need these need to reverse direction. So I think I need to move these out of the way for a second. We need the white, white there, orange there, yellow in the center, and this bottom left. So I'm just holding down left click. Oh, I'm supposed to draw like this. I'm sure I'm not doing this right. <laughs> no way. So that shape matches this shape. Where's this supposed to be? Oh, Jesus. The hell was that? I thought it was an audio glitch at first. Nasty sound. Okay, it's indicating go to the left. Go. Yeah. Proximity detector and kind of direction detector. Okay. What's the start? I guess probably up here? That was correct. Yeah. Now that's permanently on. Sound stopped. I think we start from there. 
So like here. This one's a little bit hard for me to visualize. Yeah, we're starting from the center. Yeah? Yeah, we're starting from the center. Okay, I think I got it. Um, this way, this way, this way. Yes. Once again, starting from the center, kind of making an iron-like shape. It's from here, up, down. Okay. Okay, we're on the moon now. M. I don't know if memorizing it's important. Does it stay pressed? Yes. So one out of three done. Is the missing piece. Looks like it's moving so fast from the inside. Flippy thing. Spinny thing. Another flippy thing. What's my goal? Mm, I think it's to get these two things that go up and down into these slots here. It's probably my goal. Well, now you got the two straight shots down, but... Oh, wait. It wasn't... The point of this wasn't to get these two things in these slots. The point was to make it so you have a complete straight shot down on both sides all the way, so I can flip this down. Okay. Oh, thanks, little buddy. Look at that tiny one that opened it for me. The stars themselves conspired to block your path through the observatory, but your perseverance is admirable. Does each step move you closer to freedom or deeper within this tangled maze? It moves me closer to having my soul stolen and being stuck in this place forever. 
I feel like I'm still missing some parts to be able to do the extra stuff with all these things that I have. So I'm gonna use the final key and I'm just going to assume that the game is going to tell me when I've hit a point of no return and it's not going to abruptly end and screw me over. I don't think it would do that. Craftsman's key. See, now I don't know if I want to go in there. That looks sort of final. Well, I think this is a pretty good place to end the episode. So I hope you've enjoyed so far, and when I return, I'm either going to feverishly look for how to do any of this bonus stuff that I have all these inventory items for, or I'm going to go through here and just hope the game doesn't end and there's more stuff on the other side. <laughs>